full time job to work part to work part time for your man? I would. Are you married or are you single? I'm single, dating, but single. Okay. Do you want to get married? I do. All right. When was your last relationship? I'm currently in a relationship. Okay, cool. All right. Well, and what do you do for a living? I'm an accountant. Oh, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. All right. So how long you guys been together? Um, we started dating in April. I definitely need to take that leap. Um, I'm in New York. He's in Atlanta. Hey. Um. <laughs> I know you. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me hold up. You New York, New York, and Houston are you know Houston, LA, and Chicago are ground central for pretty professional paralyzed women. I could, I could, I could get rich on talking about y'all alone. All you want to be wives <laughs> stuck on 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 either coast, and up here and down here. Wait, right. go ahead. I can close, finish, red sister. You need to take that leap and do what? Move to him. Yes. Why? Absolutely. Does he want you to be with him? Does he want me? Yes. Yeah. So why don't yes, you come? Yes. Why don't you come? We, we we'll let you in. <laughs> you know, I was a little hesitant at first, and we had this discussion because I worked in corporate. I worked for a big four accounting firm, so okay. and I heard you when you said we would put in the work. I put in the work for two years to get that opportunity with mm -hmm. no guarantee, right? Yeah. I got there, it wasn't for me. Um, but then I had this, not so much the boss chick, but like the entrepreneurial. And I thought that my success was wrapped into what I could do. I met this amazing man who he's a visionary. He's he's a boss mm -hmm. <laughs> for sure. And he was like, we are going to I can complete your sentences because I've had the same conversation. I can <laughs> I can't be your friend or we either one or the other. And, and I'm right. gonna tell you something. Let this be your God and do some moment. He's serious. He will leave you. We will leave you. It will hurt us, but we will leave you and you will regret it. Because finding a man who was willing to move you down from New York to Atlanta to employ you to put all that up front, he's throwing caution to the wind. Fuck the big four. You could always right. go back. If not, tax uh, season comes around every year. You can do H&R Block taxes. You can find some shit to do in Atlanta. It ain't like you're moving yeah, to Tuscaloosa. Yeah, I have my own practice now. What? So I'm super flexible. So, what, what, said, so when you coming? April. All right. Yeah. But I think, um, I just wanted to add this. I think a lot of times, especially women my age, when we do kind of clutch onto our career, I think the thing is not so much the man, because I heard some other ladies, it's like, if they could um, trust the man, or I think mm -hmm. the thing is, we don't really trust ourselves to make a good mm -hmm. decision. Mm -hmm. We've had so many things where either family, um, especially like my grandpa, he has in the past. He's he's been my my person. Right? He was, mm -hmm. um, who he said, "Don't go here, but go here." And I've gone against that. Mm -hmm. And then you you know come back. And I think the thing is, it's like you think it's about the man, but it's about your decisions. And mm -hmm. like we don't trust ourselves to make the decision that this is going to be it. And so you kind of come in with one foot in the door and one foot out just in case. But like I said, I had went through a two year process to get my. Um, position. And Dear, I, like I, I am trying years. my best to not cut you off because I have heard this story. I have lived this story. I have seen this story. Yeah. I know. It's the fear. It's the, because here's the thing. You, it's the fear of success because you are about to win and you don't want to win and then lose it. Mm -hmm. I get it. But you're yeah. going to have to. You said you're coming. It's sure you're coming. I'm coming. Then, Absolutely. Then, I mean, I'm 35. <laughs> well, uh, my point is, months. now you have the now. Now you're ready to start living the rest of your life. You you had to put two years in and all that other kind of stuff. Those skills and that knowledge is transferable. Now it'll be transferred to you guys instead of the big four. 
Right. Let me give you an example. I worked in corporate America and I sold in excess of $45 million worth of stuff, right? If I had done that for myself, I'd at least kept 10%. But everything that we give to these companies, they give us a check. And once it's over, all the, all, we're the ones that are connected to them. They ain't connected to us like that. Right. I'm glad you come in April. I, uh, yeah, I'm going to check on you. Because <laughs> no, I'm quite, right because especially in New York, there's a, in New York, there's a lot yeah. of women who are, are willing to tell you to backslide and stay grill. You don't know. Are your friends supportive of your decision? Girlfriends now. Huh? When it comes to love, I only talk to my married girlfriend. Thank, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, see, like I said, I know New York, L.A., and Chicago. I know the situation too easy. In Houston, pretty professional paralysis. You have so many beautiful, professional women who want to be wives who are stuck in these places. I, people think I make this shit up, and I'm talking about you. I'm talking about women like yeah, you because I see it. So I'm glad you were willing to make the decision to, to get into the next phase of your life. And the funny thing is, two years from now, you're going to be sitting back looking and saying, man, I wish I'd have did it sooner. Uh, I'm, I'm